In Brazil, workers demand financial protection facing the inflation index increase. With more on the matter, our correspondent Brian Mier. Of the Brazilian Central Bank, where the workers have decided to enact a one-day paralyzation in protest of the fact that for the last three years they haven't received any adjustment for inflation. Inflation has risen 26 percent. Not only have they not received any kind of raise, they haven't received any inflationary adjustment. The energy that's been generated by this one-day work paralyzation here in, at the Central Bank has caught on and there's other unions of government workers around the country who've decided to join in today in solidarity. So today is being called a national day of mobilization and paralyzation. The idea is to put a little bit of pressure on the Brazilian central bank. If they don't move on Friday, there's going to be a general strike of government workers against the neoliberal policies of Jair Bolsonaro and his Chicago boy finance minister, Paulo Geddes, who've spun the Brazilian economy downwards since they've taken office three years ago by implementing deep austerity cuts during a recession, which is always a suicide move. So today, there's more and more people showing up. The, the international media is here, the national media is here. They're going to march on the economics ministry, on Paulo Geddes' office. And if the Bolsonaro administration refuses to budge, there'll be a strike starting on Friday. Thank you, Brian, for this report.